Hey everyone, Eric with Supertech University here. And what I would like to do is just do a quick introduction to our company to you. To to I have a slide deck here. I'm going to put that up in a second, but I, I really want to kind of show you why we do what we do, how we do what we do, and how it can benefit you. So if you just bear with me for a second, let me uh let me pull up a slide deck here and I can kind of walk you through how Supertech University works. So let me just put this on big screen so that you can see it a bit better. There we go. And here we go. So Supertech University, what we do is we do video training for soft skills for all verticals in the home services space, plumbing, heating, electrical, uh, restoration, pest control, carpet cleaning. We even have collision centers where even though people come to them, they are using our stuff. So basically for any trade who's dealing with the general public, dealing with clients, we have video training for them. So let me show just a real quick video about what we do. Uh, it won't be too long. And let me go ahead and play this now. University has become the largest community of home service businesses to improve their teams using our five-step super profit system. With our system, you will get daily video training for your business development reps, your customer service reps, estimators, field technicians, and service managers. There's so much training out there, but here's what makes Supertech University different. Our daily drip of three to five minute videos will get your business development reps to get the phone ringing, the customer service reps to turn those phone calls into opportunities, our estimator training to get those opportunities turned into sales, our field technician training to get the five-star service experience your clients desire, and our service manager training to hold it all together. With more than a thousand video lessons in our library, Supertech University has the content to take your team to the next level. Be the type of owner that helps others transform their lives including your own by using Supertech University. All right. So there we got a little bit of a taste of what we do. And, and the reason, you know, the story goes back that Larry and I had a cleaning and restoration business and we had a lot of problems. And a lot of those problems were things we didn't really quite understand. And that leads us to our next slide. We, we were having a lot of callbacks. We were spending a lot of time putting out fires in the field. We weren't loving coming to work anymore. It was becoming a big grind just because we were dealing with problems all the time and unhappy clients. And then we found this 85% rule, which is based on a Harvard study that states that 85% of all business and financial success is accountable to soft skills. Soft skills are communication skills, being able to, you know, sell to a client to be able to give them a good service experience to be able to you know make them happy if they're upset all the things that like the people skills right and most of us have people who are very good at technical skills but those aren't the skills that build service businesses and we didn't understand that we were always trying to train technical train technical train technical and of course you need to be training people how to do the work itself but the client is judging us on how they feel about that experience, how they emotionally connect with us, right? So we started Super Tech University and focused on getting our team good at the soft skills that make our company money. And that's what happened. Our company started doing way, way better once we started training these soft skills. And then what we did after we sold our service businesses, we started Super Tech University with these three to five minute videos every day to train your team on soft skills so that you don't have to come up with the lessons and you don't have to figure out how to do all that, right? And it's based on, and I mentioned it in that promo video that you guys saw, the super profit system, because we recognize that there were really five areas that needed help when it came to this. First one is the business development reps. You know, they need to be good at getting the phone to ring. And if they're not good at that, we're in deep trouble, right? But then the next step is if they get the phone to ring, I need a CSR or receptionist, depending on what you call it in your industry, to make sure that the customer feels cared for and that we get somebody to the front door so that then the estimator, the next step, can go ahead 
and put on a sales presentation and get that person to want to do business with us. So now once they've signed on the dotted line, my field technicians need to be able to deliver five-star service and make happy clients. So they're going to give me referrals. They're going to give me repeat clients. They're going to do add-on sales. They're going to do all the things that grow a service business. And then obviously I need a service manager who can keep my team running, keep clients happy and keep our whole system profitable, right? So it's those five steps. So how does Supertech University work? Well, the first thing is we don't have any long-term contracts. It's 30 days, right? So like, give us a try for 30 days. At the end of that 30 days, if it's just not for you, let us know, no hard feelings, and you can move on with your life and we'll move on with ours, right? But we actually have hundreds and hundreds of clients all over the globe who once they're in, once they're working that system of getting those daily videos every day, they don't leave, right? But there's no obligation to you beyond just give it a go for a month, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to send you video lessons every single day. So every morning at like 5 a.m. your time, you're going to get the lessons in an email box, right? And then, or if your technicians don't come in, we can also text it to their phone. So either email or text is a way to get those uh, those videos coming in. And then as you grow, right, there's an onboarding for a week. So the first week that you join, there's going to be a series of onboardings to explain to the team what's going to happen next, what's going to happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every week, and it repeats, and they'll understand why we're doing these things. Once you're through onboarding week, then you start getting the lessons. Monday is personal development. Tuesday is job site behavior. Wednesday is disc self-awareness training. Thursday, sales and service. Friday, we recap. And then we have an accountability quiz, right? And for the technicians, that's what they do. For the other positions, we have weekly videos, okay? As you are in the program longer, you're building an archive. So if you have a person who's having problems with job site behavior, you could send them back to the archive and they could just rewatch videos of just job site behavior, right? And the whole point is we kind of live in this TikTok generation where everything needs to be short and we're dripping on people a little every day. That's why the videos are three to five minutes to keep everybody's attention. All right. And then, as I mentioned before, to hold everybody accountable to watching and paying attention, we are having them do an accountability quiz. Right. So who am I? Who's the person teaching these lessons? Well, it's me. And, you know, I have 25 plus years of leading and managing technicians. I started as a technician. I've been working in some sort of trade or blue collar job basically my entire life. I'm a John Maxwell certified coach. I write a monthly column in Cleaning and Restoration Magazine. I'm a public speaker. I go around to conferences all over the country and speak about soft skills in the home service industry. And I'm also with Larry, my business partner, the co-host of the Blue Collar Nation podcast. So that's my background, okay? And I want to get into a little bit about each one of these five things that we train on, right? So the first one's a business development rep. And these are the things that we're training our BDRs. Strategy, how to go after the right clients and how to get through to them, get past the gatekeeper and get to the decision maker. Accountability, public speaking skills, or staying organized, which a lot of times for business development reps is a hard thing. Getting noticed, being unique, getting meetings with decision makers. And then we're doing this weekly. They're getting you're getting a weekly video for the the BDR. So I'm going to play just a couple seconds of this video real quick to give give you a little bit of sense. So we're not going to do the whole three to five minutes or whatever, but here's a little taste of it. Hey everyone, Erica Supertech University, and welcome back to another installment of the business development rep training series. And today I want to talk about what we say when we go into a new place or when we're meeting somebody first time, right? We're basically pitching them on us in our company, right? That's what we do. We pitch people. And I have done a lot of ride alongs with a lot of, a lot of different people from all over the country, you know, male, female, different age brackets, everybody. One of the biggest problems I see with almost everyone is they don't have one pitch. They have like 50 pitches. So they go into one place and they say one thing. And they go into another place and they say something like completely different. And then they go into a third place and they say yet 
an amalgamation of the first two things that were said. And I'm sitting there thinking, how are you ever going to figure out what works and what, what doesn't work if you don't have one solid pitch, right? If you're Okay, so as you guys can see from that video, I'm talking about the importance of having one pitch and being able to do it time and time again, over and over, perfecting that pitch. So as you go in to knock on doors to drum up business, you actually can come up with a system that's going to work for you and your company to get people to want to do that better, right? Big, big problem with a lot of business development reps, right? And we're always talking about things like that. What are the things that we can do to get a little bit better every single day? All right, the next one. The the only videos that I don't shoot are, are shot by my wife, Yana. Yana has a long history of being a CSR. She ran a team of CSRs in our restoration company. She was a lead CSR at a carpet cleaning company, really high volume where the phone was just ringing off the hook like all day long. So she's really good at, you know, putting them up people on hold, keeping them happy, all those things. And then after we sold our business, she actually went to work and as a former coach at a national CSR training company where all she did all day was train CSRs in HVAC, plumbing, electrical, cleaning, restoration, all the, all the verticals I talked about earlier. And she's really good at connecting with all of those CSRs. Look, the reality is most CSRs are female, about 90% roughly in, in all industries in the blue collar space are female. So having that female voice talking to them and connecting with them is super, super helpful. So, um, you know, what we're trying to do with the CSR is win over clients, overcome objections, deal with angry clients, do on 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 phone sales because we need to get that money coming in and to develop a winning voice that people are going to be excited to. So I'm just going to play a brief uh, intro to Yana so you get a little bit of feel for that. This is Yana with Super Tech University, and today we are going to round up our discussion. I've been talking about the first 10, 20 seconds of a call and what makes those first critical seconds count. And the last thing we're going to talk about today uh, is going to be the greeting, the all important greeting. Now, have you called a company? And I am sure you have, because it's happened to me multiple times. I've called a company, and on the other line, I get, hello, or I get, yep, or I get, how can I help? I don't know who I've called. I don't really know who the person is I'm talking to. And very often, I don't even get the question of how can I help? So those are the three very important things that make up your greeting. You want to introduce the company, you want to introduce yourself, and you want to ask the customer what you can do to help us. Okay, as you can see, Yana's talking about how we engage people on the phone. And look, in the home services space, so much money is won and lost on the phone. So many times it's like, well, I hired a CSR and I just through he or she in there and, you know, they'll figure it out. They know how to answer a phone, but they don't know how to answer a phone to get to what the goal is that you want. And if they're not getting what they want, guess what? They're hanging up or saying, thanks a lot. And they're calling your competitor. So the better that you can be trained and have your CSR trained, the better your company is going to do. Okay. So then we have in-home uh, sales and estimator training. I'm not going to play the video here. You guys can, you know, watch ones later, but you know, what we're talking about, I was a long time estimator is successful selling in the home sales presentation skills, winning over clients, increasing the ticket package selling, using options for higher ticket sales and then building trust with clients. Right. You know, look, the skills, especially for in home, where you're dealing with non-business people, where you're dealing with, you know, mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, they're different. They're just different. And that's what this video is about, right? That selling in a house is very different than business to business. And we talk about these things about good, doing a good sales presentation and all this stuff every single week so that we're going to maximize those sales as we go. Whoops. Uh, there we go. And the next one is field technicians. These are daily videos. We do five a week, right? Because there's a lot to cover. There's a lot to be being a, a field tech, right? So on Monday, we do personal development. 
Tuesday, job site behavior, Wednesday, disc, Thursday, sales and service, Friday, recap and the accountability test. Um, I'm going to talk, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play this one real quick. This is one about staying off the grass. So let me go ahead and play that real fast. Hey everyone, Erica Supertech University and happy Tuesday. As always on Tuesdays, we talk about job site behavior and I want to talk about something that is super duper important. And that is staying off your client's grass. One of the biggest blowouts I ever had with a client. Well, I mean, I wasn't having a blowout. She was having a blowout. She called me after my technicians had been there doing a full day's work. And apparently she had brand new sod on her front lawn, beautiful home. And they had parked the van and the fastest way from the van to the front door was straight across the new lawn instead of going down the driveway and up the walkway to the house. So my team decided it would be a good idea to save time and walk across this lawn probably 50 times. And guess what it did? It did a nice cow path right down the lawn. She had her, her lawn care. All right, so you guys get the point there, right? So every day, we're doing these kinds of lessons that are just these, these basic lessons. And I always say it's like shooting foul shots, whether you're Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant, you got to do the mundane stuff. You're shooting those foul shots and doing layups and stuff every day in your practice. Well, it's the same thing having these three to five minute drips where, yeah. Do the guys know that they probably shouldn't walk on the lawn? Yeah, they may, right. They probably do but it needs to be reiterated. You know, we talk about things like, you know, where to park the van, how to greet the customer at the door, the best way, how to put property protection down, why we don't put stuff on the granite countertops, all the basics. Right. And then we talk about sales and we talk about how to connect with the client and get them to feel like they're getting a five-star service experience. So we're doing that, you know, a couple minutes a day. And then lastly, service manager leadership training, right? I won't play this video, but look, a lot of service managers have been making, they're trying to make that leap because a lot of times the people that we promote to service manager were just our best technician. But then all of a sudden we throw them in with no real training on how to be a manager, how to be the leader. And they're supposed to like try to figure it out. Right. And look, that's not easy. So we developed the system of service manager leadership training to help ease that, that transition. Right. And we're, making the leap from tech to leader, learning the skills to lead a high performance team, learning the difference between leading and managing because they're not the same. And a lot of people don't understand that. Learning how to become a servant leader to get, you know, where you're helping your team grow and helping them with what they need and learning how to gain influence, not only with the team, but with clients and in the industry, right? So we talk about that a lot. And then... You know, here, here's the thing where this is where the rubber, rubber meets the road, right? So how do I get this to work at my company? And what, you know, we have learned over time is that there's some, you know, success leaves clues, right? So these are the, how people use it and how it works best for them. The first thing is you got to decide how you want to implement it. Are you going to do it daily? Are you going to do a weekly huddle? Are you going to send the lesson straight to the team and then follow up, you know, every day with every single person? Are you going to meet on Mondays and, and play a few videos, or are you going to do it like meet as a team and do it every single day? Right. So you got to first figure out how you're going to implement it, how it's going to work best for your company. Right. We have companies that do it multiple times a day because they, they run multiple shifts. So they have a morning huddle, they have a second shift huddle and they have a third shift huddle even sometimes. Right. So you got to figure out what's going to work. Then you got to make sure that management's involved and on board, right? If your managers don't believe in this and, and aren't, aren't realizing that this can help them, then nobody's going to follow them, right? But leadership has to lead the way to why this is important, how this can help the company, right? And then we have to hold our people accountable. We have to ask questions. We have to make them interact. We usually say, play the three to five minute video and spend three to five more Asking each, you know, asking a few people. So what, what do you think we could do? Are we doing this? Could we do it better? Right. You got to get them involved. And then you got to give it some time to get buy-in, right? You know, we do 30 days, but in reality, what we see is it takes about 90 days for people to start really buying in. And once they hit the 90 day mark, they're starting to really roll. Cause at first it's very foreign concept, 
to most people, right? And then for people in the cleaning and restoration industry, this is separate. We do IICRC continuing ed credit. So if you are in that industry, just reach out to your super tech sales rep and they can tell you all about how that works. So real quick, and I want to finish this up because I know you guys have things to do today. We basically have created a package for every need and every budget. Look, every business is different. Every business has a different budget and we understand that. So we've tried, even though there's a lot of packages, we're trying to cater them to your needs. So I'm going to rifle through these real quick. If you have questions, you can ask your, your sales rep, but here's the deal. We start with an economy. That's two videos a week, a personal development and a job site behavior, right? And that is, it's 47 bucks a month. Right. So if the, those two things are going to help you, then the economy, and you just want to dip your toe in the pool and see if you think this is going to be a good thing, that $47 a month economy package could be the thing for you. Then we have an economy plus, which is those same two videos and the CSR weekly lesson. Right. And that's 97 bucks a month. So you, you're getting your, your people getting a little bit of taste of that morning meeting. And then getting some CSR training so to make sure that you're not losing people on the phone. Then you have the standard package, which is those five week daily tech lessons for the field techs every day and the CSR lesson, right? So now you're getting training every single day for the field techs and a CR, CSR lesson. That's $177 a month. Now you could go standard plus which is, this is our bait. This is the package that the most people buy, right? This is our value, like the best value to dollar one is standard plus. And that's the five weekly tech lessons, the CSR and the service manager lesson every week, right? So that's 227 a month. Then we up it to premium. Like if you're really wanting to go on growth mode or you're really having a lot of issues and you need to get those fixed, we go to premium, which is that standard plus, which is, you know, the five daily lessons for the tax, the CSR, the service manager, but then you also get the business development rep and the estimator lessons, right? So that's that super profit system we're talking about. That's your premium. And then premium plus is everything in the premium, all of those videos, plus an owner and executive team video mm -hmm. every week. And then we do a monthly webinar where you guys can come and Larry and I will be there and Yana will be there excuse me, and you can ask all the questions you want and, and get whatever feedback and help you need. And that's $347 a month. So look, whether it's $47 a month at $347 a month, there's something for every single person. There's, there's you know, uh, something for every budget. All right. And I just want to leave you guys on one last thought. And this was said by Bruce Deloach, who's an IICRC instructor in the restoration industry and a good friend of mine, we were talking about the soft skills and putting out fires in the field and complaints. And he said this, people complain they never have enough time or money to train staff, but they seem to always have the time and money to go fix all the problems after the fact. So my point to you guys would be, why are you going to go and do it that way? Why don't you just invest the money now, invest the time now, and go ahead and get these your team with the great skills, and then you are not going to be putting out all the fires. You're not going to have as many angry clients. You are going to see repeats go up, referrals go up, your problems go down, and your happiness go up. And the reason I feel confident saying that is that's what happened to Larry and I in our service business, and that's also what is happening all over the country with our clients. So guys, if you have any questions, I know you're on this call with one of your sales reps, go ahead and ask them the rest of the questions. But that is basically, you know, what we do here at Supertech University in a nutshell. I hope this was helpful. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks a lot.